Hello, welcome to the soft learning. Today we will model the spring and then we will run some analysis of the spring. Uh, you will see the stress strain and displacement uh, simulation and uh, data related to it. So first of all, I will click the pot. And uh, after that, I will sketch the circle uh, or I will select the plane so I'm sketching the circle okay I'm selecting selecting the front plane uh, no I will select the top plane okay this is front plane and this is top plane so I will draw the circle you can see here okay after completing the circle now I will go to the features and click on helix and spiral I will give this data to the pitch and revolution and the start angle uh, if you want uh, your data then you can give it in this blanks so we will click on ok uh, you can see the spring the sketch of the spring here now I will convert it to the solid body so I will click on this swept boss and uh, uh, choose the circular profile and increase the in size and after that click on ok if you want to hide this the, these lines then click on hide ok now I want to uh, make the upper and lower uh, parts of the spring uh, so I will uh, exclude cut the bo both the ends upper and lower so for that uh, I will select the front plane and then we'll click on exclude cut okay and then I will draw the rectangle like this okay and then we'll draw the same rectangle like this okay I can move it according to my need so I will cut here like this and cut here like this okay go to the feature and click on extruded cut okay this is direction of cutting select the two all both ends and click ok you can see our model is cutted from both the ends upper and lower now I will uh, select this part and uh, after selecting the go to sketch and select this part and click on sketch after that I will draw the circle like this go to the exclude to the boss and select click ok ok you can see here the upper end of the spring you can also edit this if I want to make it increase then I will 
increase it to 0.2 inch after that I will make the lower part bottom part go to sketch draw the circle same as like this okay click on ok and the same process go to execute it boss and increase it now you can see the spring now i will do some simulation some analysis on this spring you will see its anima animation and simulation so first of all you have to select uh, click on solidworks as in and after that uh, click on solidworks premium simulation simulation i will cover both of the simulation types in the next videos so for now click on solidworks simulation and click on this simulation it will appear here you can see okay click on new study and uh, name your uh, this profile so i will make it default static one this is for spring uh, if you want some connections then you can also uh, do some connections i will click here in the fixtures to uh, fixed the geometry from the base I will fix the geometry from the base you can see here fix geometry click OK and uh, then if you want some uh, if you want some external loads then apply some loads uh, like force if you want to apply force then click on this you can see here on which and you want to apply the force i will click here and i will apply 10 newton force okay so now i want to run the simulation it will create the mesh and then will solve the uh, all the related equations click on mesh and run uh, before this i want to uh, apply material for it i will select alloy steel okay because uh, alloy steel has greater elastic modulus than iron or other materials i applied alloy steel or you can also choose the alloy the other type of alloy which is uh, aluminium alloy this one this is more elastic modulus than the previous one okay now i want to mesh and run
so our run uh, machine run uh, has been done uh, you can see the stress this is the stress value you can also uh, go to chart options and show minimum annotations and show maximum annotation mark this so you can see the maximum value and minimum value and uh, go to general so you can see the values in general format not in some scientific format okay increase it so this is the stress in newton per meter square you can see uh, the, the minimum value is 0 0.03 and the maximum is 28 uh, 445440 four, 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 so if you see this then this point has the maximum stress if you want to animate it then click on animate you will see how when 10 newton force applies how the stress works in throughout this body okay now go, go to displacement this is your displacement this part the red part you can see the red part this is more displacement and the blue part which is fixed is zero displacement here zero if you edit this then you will see the show minimum annotation show maximum annotation and increase this okay so now you can see this this is the minimum value and this is the maximum value and millimeter 5.23 millimeter here now if you want to see the stress then you can also see the stress and if you want to animate it then you can see how the strand looks like in this body how 10 newton force is flying and the spring moves upward and downward okay so this is your data this is your data you can study here from it uh, and if you want to compare the results then you can compare it you can see all the four uh, our four stre uh, stress displacement and strain and this is the uh, mesh quality so you can see the values here in newton per meter square this is the stress and this is uh, uh, the uh, this is the displacement and this is the strain okay and this is the mesh quality you can see uh, how the mesh has been done so you can simulate any body any uh, your any model like this uh, if you uh, first you have to uh make the model draw the model and then uh, you can apply the same procedure procedure just like i have applied okay if you have any question then you can ask in the comments and i will make uh, other videos for you um, like these in the future thank you for watching